Alright, so today we're going to be painting the two-speed go-kart. Now, first thing we need to do is we need to disassemble the entire go-kart. Cue the time lapse. For the first coat, I'm using this. So, primer, I have some reducer, and it says add this to a gallon, and this is a quart, so I'm just gonna add a little bit of it. So, I'm using this really old sprayer, which apparently is as old as me, so I'm hoping that this thing still works. I did clean it out a little bit, but, no, probably not as much as I should have. Oh, I need a stir stick. Alright, this is not working. I made this. Hopefully this works a little bit better. Kind of, not really. Jeez. Is it, did I like grab a really old container? Or is it supposed to be like this? Now that's how you stir some paint. Ugh, whatever. It's, it's making a huge mess anyway, I don't care. So, now I just need to very carefully pour it into this container. A little bit of this. Okay, now, 
Let's hope that this thing works. I know there's gonna be some people screaming in the comments about how much, how bad I am at this, how much of a mess I'm making, and trust me, I know, I know I'm making a huge mess. <laughs> and uh, oh my, yeah, it's uh, I'll just I'll just clean it up later. There's a lot of stuff left in here, so I'm just gonna pour it back, pour it back in here, and. Uh, I'm gonna clean this out. Yeah, I don't know what happened there, but I like tilted the thing down, tilted it back up, and it just sprayed out this nozzle right here. So, yeah, I know I'm making a huge mess. Trust me, outside is a disaster. There's paint everywhere, and uh, the entire outside is now blue. So, that's why I did it outside, and I did it on this table, because I don't really care about this table. So,. Uh, it's gonna take a while to come off. Alright, so now I'm doing the second coat of blue, the third coat in total. I let it dry for two days and I actually bought myself some gloves because I'm tired of standing at the sink for an hour trying to scrub off this paint. So, shouldn't take that long. I'm not going to do too much. I'm more just going to, you know, touch up some certain spots. Okay, so now we are doing the clear coat high gloss lacquer. You can see right there. So it's been a solid three days since I last painted the frame. I had to do some touch ups today on the smaller parts. So therefore I'm going to wait another day before I put this coat on those. But let's at least get a coat on the blue frame. Now it says not to thin this. So, um,. I'm not going to thin it, so uh, safety gloves. I have no idea how much to do. That eh, looks fine. Yeah, crazy weather we're having, like all of a sudden it just starts snowing. Yesterday it was pretty cold, but not cold enough to snow, and then I woke up to this. So anyway, 
So I finished painting this frame like almost a week ago, but I had to focus on other stuff. I finally finished that video, so now I can focus back on reassembling this thing. I finished all the parts right here. I uh, JB welded the bushings into these uh, parts right here for the two-speed transmission. Cleaned up all this stuff, and uh, yeah, it's ready to be uh, put all back together.
right, this go-kart is finally done. It looks a lot better than I thought it was going to turn out. And uh, it took me quite a while to, um, you know, get this thing painted by the time I started disassembling this, getting it ready for a paint job, painting it, and then reassembling it. It took me about two weeks to do all that, so, you know, quite a while, a lot longer than I thought it was going to take. Um, now, all the parts I used on this project I got from Go Power Sports, the seat, the steering wheel, tires, the engine performance parts, the, the torque converter, the and the axle, I all got from Go Power Sports. I will leave a link in the description below to all the parts I used in this video. Go check it out. Now, I'm definitely going to have to do a writing video some other time. It's, it's, you know, it's actually 10.30 at night on a Saturday night and I need to get upstairs and edit this video to upload tomorrow, so, um, yeah, so, I'm gonna have to end the video here, thank you for watching, subscribe, and have a nice day.